Nibby, what did you come back here for? I don't know. I mean, I figured she might have some thing to say about the, uh, the, 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 the Kingsmith stuff, and... Yeah, let's ask her about Kingsmith. I'm not from Kingsmith. I moved here about ten years ago. In retrospect, perhaps not the best decision I've ever made. No. First my husband left me, then I lost my house, my savings. Running away seemed like the best answer at the time. I moved around for a few years. I didn't have any applicable skills, no education. My options were limited. Hello, Kingsmouth, yeah. This town seemed as good a place as any to settle. Plenty of people in need of assurance, so I figured I'd give this fortune-telling business a go. And here I am, surrounded by the living dead, in more ways than one. It was always about deception. The crystal ball, the gypsy clothes, the fake accent. Cheap props to make the fortune cookies easier to swallow. My customers, they bought into it because they wanted to. If there's no free will, if it's all about fate, life is a whole lot simpler. We can just say, hey, it was meant to be, and get on with it. That's the key to fortune telling. That's why people fall for it. We're all prisoners of our search for a higher meaning. It's all about mutual deception. I never believed I was telling people anything they didn't already know. Until now. I have waking dreams. Visions. I see auras. Auras! <laughs> Yours, by the way, is bright enough to blind me. Huh. Well, thanks. I see through the eyes of others. I can even see into the future, for real. The paths of fate, clear as day. It's almost like, like I've become who I've pretended to be all these years. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. I could be going crazy. I wouldn't blame myself if I was going, oh, great. Here we go again. I'm having another vision. They come and go like headaches. I can't really control them. Quick, uh, before okay. it passes. Oh, my. I see your twin paths. Uh -huh. One leads to salvation, um, the other to defeat. Uh, uh, I see um, black tendrils rising okay. to embrace you. Voices whispering in your ear. Corruption from within uh, and from without. Uh, Something rising from the bottomless deep to devour us all. To turn uh, day into night. Sorry. Oh boy. I see something else. Our paths intertwine, converge, and at the end of it... Converge? Exodus. Inescapable. Permanent. Faded. On the tip uh -huh. of the pyramid, your path shall be revealed. Ah. Uh, That's okay. as good as it's gonna get. Make of it what you will. Sometimes I get more visions, like the aftershocks of an earthquake. If that happens, I'll let you know. You won't even have to pay my usual fee. Let's call it a freebie, sweetie. <laughs> call me sweetie. Uh, Dip? Yeah? Yeah? Um, I feel I should remind you, I can occasionally pick up surface thoughts. What did you hear? No, nothing. No stuff. She seems like a nice lady. She, yeah, she really does. Do you have a crush? No. Debbie? No, no, I'm not like... Debbie kids. No. Don't call me that, Little, never. little Debbie. <laughs> Don't ever... That too. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I like men, okay? Really? Why do you sound no. incredulous? Nothing, nothing. Just you know. I don't. I don't know how else I should sound. So, I mean, what's your type? Um, I don't know if I really have a type. I mean, I mean that moose, like, you know. I mean, moose. I don't normally go for men. But, uh, damn. I mean, I guess. I mean. I guess you're good looking, you know, if you're into that. Oh, what are you into? 
uh, I don't know, like, long hair, mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, not, I guess not too muscular, I'm, you know, soft skin, sort of like, I like, you know, sort of, maybe more fine features, and. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. So, like, what you like in men is, um, that they're women. What? You're, you're basically no. descri you're describing, like, a girl there. No, I'm not. Like, you know, Japanese, but Sharon, you know? You ever play Final Fantasy IX? Yeah. Remember the, remember Kuja? Yeah, I remember her. That was a guy. I never finished it. Yeah, okay, that was that was kind of a twist, I guess. I just kind of remember their introduction, which was, you know, thong shot. Yeah, there was a um, lot of lot of focus on that. I mean, that was kind of an awakening for me too. But it's not really. You might wonder why I'm down here. So why are you down here? Oh, wait a second. The tip of the pyramid, right? Right. Pyramid point. Seems pretty obvious. Special assignment received. Initializing. I had another vision. Shadows. Long shadows. From the old boughs of the fairy forest. The flickering lights of the foolish fire guiding your path. Come, come, they beckon. Does this make any sense to you? Too much. Really? I was going to say the opposite. You know, the place where I came back to life. Oh. You know, you know, she has your phone number. She should like someone to talk to. Yeah, maybe I'll give her a call sometime. You know, text and just talk. Girl stuff. Yeah, girl stuff. Stuff about girls. Yeah, I mean, no, I see. I, I I heard that. Special assignment received. Initializing. Okay, okay. I'm so I'm so. I mean, I'm sorry. What? All right. Guess what? More visions. This time there's bees. The incessant buzzing of bees. And flowers. Flowers blooming out of season to mark the path ahead. Okay, this one is even easier. The visions are really going easy on you this time. Yeah, really. They keep coming. The visions. It's exhausting. Now I see an angel guarding the hollowed ground. Sword in hand to ward off evil and to guide the way. Remembered as he remembered others. May he be remembered as he remembered others, Sledgehammer. This has better be the last one. It's terrifying. The cold, dead eyes of the innocent stare at me from the gallows. Their blank gaze a mirror to the past and the future. Yeah, I don't. Okay, um, I guess he stopped going easy on this. I don't know. I have no clue on that one. I mean, maybe it's best to focus on something else until you figure it out. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Stop right. You know, it's like you always get good ideas when you stop thinking about it. You have to go take a shower.
can see the elder zombie vermiculated and maggot ridden there the corpses awakened in their old graves the fresher zombies received the commands to dig up their more decomposed kin this is not the first time sinister forces have been at play on the island there are many fetid things buried in its history though these older shamblers are sluggish and more fragile than the more recent counterparts they draw from deeper reserves of necromantic power. They call on carrion birds, beasts, and insects. They command lesser undead. George Gardner, rest a weary traveler. Uh. For with the dawn comes great joy. George Gardner, was that. That wasn't. No, no. Andy's father was George. Might have been. Yeah, it turns out I think this slime trail that I noticed earlier was probably... Probably something to... It's probably Joe's. Probably something to check up on, huh? Yeah! I guess he's a sloppy Joe, huh? Uh. <laughs> uh. No, that's good. Be proud uh. of that one. Yeah, but then I, then I got kind of disgusted with myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're probably gonna want up some new shoes after this too. No, not like that. I mean, like if I, uh, oh, you know, oh, this yeah, is a human being we're talking about. All oh, right, it's kind of easy to forget that, huh? get these guys, or is this just like a different branch of the sewer? I mean, there's a lot of sewer down here. And some non-sewer tunnels. And apparently the dwarven mines of Moria. Oh, look at that. The same seaweed that was on the um, Lady Margaret. Oh god. It's, it's like the War of the Worlds. It's a lot like the War of the Worlds, actually. I don't think I can put them up there. You must have done that at high tide. But we haven't had high tide in a while, it looks like. Maybe you're right. Maybe the tides are filling in the morning. Well, the thing is, the tide's been gone this long and gone this low. What happens when it comes back? Oh. oh. I see you in that fog over there. You're not fooling anybody. You are like 10 feet tall and made of crap. Oh, crap. What the f uh, um. Okay, that's new. What? The fog was solid. Oh my god, I thought you were just turning back from this. No, I won't turn back from this thing, but I, I literally cannot walk any further. It's a wall. Literally thick enough to cut with a knife. Come out of here. Come out of here. Come, come on. on. Come and take your medicine. There we go. Come on. Ow. Oh god. The pulsing. <sighs> I thought it was definitely coming from him. This thing belongs dead. Yeah. And, um, what's that? That's a big fucker. What are you doing with that? Oh, 
Oh my god. He's raising them. It's her she, she, it's she, a she. She's raising them. That's a she. I'm oh, sorry, my bad. Oh no, oh no, it's an understandable mistake to make. Oh, look at it. I could not. I do not want to. Like. It's, like a, it's Baba Yaga the Hunt. Ugh, okay, at least he's dead now. Oh my god, look at this. Quick access inventory updated. Oh my god, they're bigger than your torso. By which I, of course, mean her arms. <laughs> Look on your face says even my good side is worse for wear. I've been trying not to think about the changing. Like it could all be a bad dream I've woken up from. <laughs> nightmares. All nightmares. Since oh. that storm blew oh. us off course. <clears throat> off the compass. Off the map. <clears throat> we didn't tell anyone about the shit we saw. About dead ships all caught up in red weed as far as you could see. About the things moving in the fog. In the water. About what we saw beneath it all. Deep into the abyss. Or what I found there. In that dungeon darkness. Shone like a signal flare. Like something fallen down from heaven above, you understand? A blade made of pure light, a thing of terrible beauty. I could hear its siren song just, just calling me. Last I remember was the Creed boys hollering as I took a hold of it. Jury took a hold of me. I wasn't strong enough, I, I know that now. They told me it pushed back the fog and the waves while I was out cold. Told me it saved us. <clears throat> it didn't save us. <laughs> that thing brought the fog back to Kingsmith. <clears throat> I brought the fog back to Kingsmith. <gasps> and I still oh, hear yeah. that silent song. <clears throat> I know you hear it too. You could find it. You could stop that. <clears throat> Put the burning brightness back where it belongs in the deep in the dark I wonder what would have happened if I never left that Red Sea maybe Joe Slater never did and all this is just some pitch dark dreaming I don't think there's any help in him. I think it's best to just... just leave him be. There's no way this gets better for either of you. Wow, okay. Whoa. D Debbie, I'm getting some weird kind of... audio-video... I think he kind of like... I think he passed it on to me. Are you seeing that, or...? I hear it. It's... But are you seeing that? I am see hearing that. I think I'm having, like... Is this what the synesthesia is like? I think so. I mean, I've never had it, but... I'm definitely getting some, some like, crossed signals here on our, on our brain thingy. Oh, hello. Oh, Zed Flamer Johnson. I'm guessing he used the flamethrower? Uh, according to old war records, no. Then why is he caught other reasons? Oh. Well, he is now. <laughs> So apparently, whatever power is reanimating them has a sense of humor. 
Must be. Oh, look, something was stuck in my foot. Oh, yeah, you stepped in some shit there. Yep, some shit.